Hi everyone! So today I'm going to do a bit more of an extensive gift guide and I decided to do three episodes. One will be dedicated to craft and that will be today. The um, other one will be watercolor gift guide and then the third one will be book um, gift guide and the books will be featuring um, different arts um, it could be mixed media, it could be watercolor, it could be botanical, anything like that. So those books that I find particularly beautiful uh, and gra great for gift ideas. So um, today I will start and I, I think I will do the same for the other videos is I will start with the most expensive items, then I'll have the middle range and then I will have the more kind of uh, affordable and then finishing off with stocking fillers or something like this, which is quite uh cute and neat and will um will make a great little stocking filler so there is um a really humble gift guide that i already filmed a couple of weeks ago and it features i think a handful of products so we'll link it uh, in the card right in this top right corner for you and you can have a look because those items I'm not mentioning them again here but I think that would be great as additional ideas. So uh, we're going to start with the top of the range in terms of price. All right so here it is. So some of you who have been following me for a while you will remember uh, when I first showed this beautiful die cutting machine when I first purchased it and I think actually it was a present to myself for a year I had it and it's so gorgeous some of you asked me if I still like using it yes I absolutely love using it I wouldn't think of going and buying another one because it's just so neat I love the colors of it I love the rose gold um, detailing with the white and it's a it's a platinum six so it's the smaller version of the original and I just love it. It works beautifully and it works really well in my studio des design wise as well. So basically if you're new to die cutting machines, I'll just show you quickly. That's all you need to do. You just open the little flip outs and um, then you will need a couple of the plates that come in the set. So what you get in this uh, set or kit is basically this plate which is the main one so it's the platform it's nice and thick beautifully made and then here it tells you uh, what you need to do how you need to assemble your sandwich um, for whatever you need to do so if you need to do wafer thin die cutting this is what you need to have if you need to emboss um, a cut shape and then also for embossing um, the double-sided folders. Buckle up, this is going to be a long video, I think I will even take a little break to make myself coffee because we're not in a rush today and I'm also, I have my studio lights on and it's drizzling outside with rain and I'm not in a rush in terms of the daylight so all is good, it's going to be nice and filled with uh, a lot of details and hopefully will inspire you. Uh, so what you can do is cut loads of different um, elements and use them in your journals, you can use them as embellishments, you can create cards with it, like greeting cards, um, you can do so much. I will just show you a couple of examples. I think the only thing I need to worry about today is the battery life, but even then I made sure I have um, charged it yesterday. Okay, so here are some examples you can do. Um, so you can cut out these beautiful, beautiful, um, intricate little dies and you can create different layouts in your journal. So let's see, now this doesn't have any more. Okay, so yeah, basically this is this is what you can do. All right, so next thing I'm going to share with you is this Cricut Bright Pad. Now, I actually haven't taken it out of the box and the reason was that I, when I bought it early in the year, I was going to do an unboxing for you and do like a review and first impressions. Um, but I never got around to do it and actually I needed to use this in my projects but I kept um, 
avoiding using it just because I wanted to do an unboxing so it didn't happen so I just really want to uh, share it with you now and sort of it will be like unboxing in two in one really. Um, so what is this for? Now this is, uh, if you haven't come across, it's like a light box and they're very very great tool to have in your studio for tracing and um, so if you if you like, uh, for example, a design in a in a book, what you can do is you can take a photocopy because obviously, if you put a page um, which is double printed, you want it kind of the, the the image will be overlaid, so you won't see the exact image very well. So you should take a photocopy of whatever image you like in a book, for example, some beautiful florals, and if you want to trace it into your journal. Now, of course, whatever you copy or trace, you can't sell, so be aware of that. But if you're wanting just to work in your journals, just for your own pleasure, then that's what you can do. So you can take a photocopy and then you can put it onto the light box and then place a sheet of either paper or um, like tracing paper, anything that you um, that you want to work with. So you could do, for example, um, on tracing paper first and then over tracing paper you could place um, another piece of uh, paper and do it again, this time maybe correcting a few items or taking something out. Um, you could do it in, in any um, comfortable sort of manner and whatever works best for you but basically this is great um, for tracing it's also a beautiful size so I will show you it's um, the other thing you can do here it says perfect for reading vinyl so if you have a like a die cut vinyl uh, you can see it very easily the, the cut out lines hopefully you can see in this picture um, because they're lit up from the bottom you can easier um, pick them out and um, so yeah that's what it's great for and it's uh, the size is 9 by 11.5 inches that's the lit area so this area here it's a little bit wider on the sides I think it's designed beautifully and I got the mint color I believe there are a couple of different colors but you will see actually that a lot of the items I'm showing you today look it's got still the stickers on there so I'm going to cut them and they're obviously completely new box um yeah so as i was saying you'll see a lot of the products today that i'm mentioning are like a minty color so it's a beautiful beautiful thing to have it's it looks like a like an apple product beautifully designed and um um yeah i mean it's a fantastic gift again either to yourself or to your loved ones so if you turn it over uh this is a very mild mint color beautiful pastel it's got nice rubber legs here so that it uh, doesn't slip around on your desk it's ultra thin you can see it's like I think it's about as thick as my phone I've got a protective cover on it so it will look even thinner than my phone at the moment but yeah basically like an apple phone um, thickness so you just plug it in right in here and that's how you use it and the light you can control by the minus and plus so if you want less brightness you can go lower down or if you want more you can go up and uh, it's just beautiful product to to have really 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 useful so let's rotate the box on the other side and this is what they show you can do jewelry when you need more light and maybe if you have a dark if you're working in a dark um, area or you can do uh, tracing any any sort of stuff like that it's great for it it's got five brightness settings um, yeah and it's quite light so you can go from like one room to another room if you if you want to do your project somewhere like downstairs you can easily carry it around and I think you have to have it plugged in all the time Okay, so this is the third item that is quite pricey and probably if I had to put them in order, this would be before the Cricut light box, um, simply because it is more expensive. I don't remember exactly the price difference between Spellbinders, Platinum 6, die cutting machine and this one, but they're roughly similar. 
in the similar price group. So this is a beautiful We Are Memory Keepers typecast typewriter again as you can see it's a mint color you have a choice with these in different colors um, I think there's a black one there is a cream one uh, I think I might have seen a pink and a red if I'm not mistaken but this was my color of choice and I absolutely love it because there are um, things in my studio in this color sprinkled around so that's the theme I'm going for and yeah you can just type out little notes so this was uh, on a tracing paper you can do little tags you can do um, greeting cards and you can even do smaller little cards that you can stick in your journals for art journaling or just memory keeping anything to do with that uh, it's a beautiful machine it's so big I can't it's super heavy I can't show you the entire thing <laughs> but I will just rotate it this way and hopefully you can see it's this beautiful buttons here and that's how you basically go like that and you type and remember to hit the buttons really hard because it isn't sort of like a modern computer where you have to gently type on the keyboard this is you know old school type of a typewriter so you have to hit on the buttons pretty hard for the ink to um, ink ribbon to be pressed hard enough on the paper all right, so from now onwards, we're going to move into like middle range uh, type of products. Okay, so the next item I will recommend is a stamp perfect stamping tool. So there are a few on the market. This is the one I could get hold of here in UK. And there is also one that came out um, from Tim Holtz. Uh, I, I'm not going to recommend that purely because of the design of it. I am not too keen on the look of the stamping tool, but I know that a lot of people really loved um, his, uh, his stamping tool. So it is um, up to you to have a little look uh, what you may find that you might prefer over this, but my recommendation is this one. Again, Teal color works really well for me. I love the size. It's not too big. Again, it, it uh, depends on what size you're working or the person that you, uh, you're you going to gift is working, whether they like larger projects or smaller ones. I am totally into smaller projects and so that works really well for me. Uh, in terms of size, the entire size of it is 23 centimeters across and... 18 uh, widthwise and then the area that you're going to be using for stamping is about 18 and a half and uh, 13 and a half I'd say so what this does it helps you to have a great stamping image sorry for the color I'll just put this one here <laughs> hopefully that will help yep Okay, so there is a black mat inside and um, you can basically use like normal clear stamps um, to stamp your images and sometimes when we stamp the image might not be perfect. So if you really want something perfectly stamped like for a greeting card, you don't want to mess it up like if you're doing it in your art journal, you don't mind having little imperfections, but sometimes for a greeting card, you want it to be perfect. So um, that's when I would really recommend to use this tool because you can uh, double or triple or, or however many times you want to double uh, stamp or stamp again to create that perfect image. You can just, uh, not, you know, without removing or repositioning the stamp you just keep on going loading it with ink and making it perfect um, and so that's what you do now there are also two magnets which makes it really fun to use so you can um, put your piece of paper here and magnetize it so that they stay in place and then the clear stamp goes on to here onto the lid and then you just stamp it like that pressing onto the image and that works really nice now if you want to use oop 
rubber stamps, you just remove um, this inlay black mat and then you can use your rubber stamps because they are, I don't know if you can see, they're a lot thicker. The rubber stamp itself is adhered to the foamy part right here. So if I put them next to a clear stamp, hopefully you can see that it's like almost twice the thickness. So that's why you can remove the mat and you can put your paper straight onto here. Use your magnets to again um, make the paper stay in one place. Adhere the rubber stamp onto the lid again and then you have a lot more depth here inside to fit in the thicker rubber stamp. So that's uh, a great uh, tool to gift someone. Again, design-wise, pra practicality and um, just everything is in there that really speaks to me. So I really like it. Um, that's the one I'm going to recommend and it's by the brand Hamptons. Yeah. Okay, so the next item I will recommend I don't have to show to you because I just ordered it myself and I'm expecting it actually just after Christmas or perhaps even in the new year because it looks like it will be shipped from overseas and I ordered mine on Amazon so leave uh, the links um, down below. It's a We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen and there, there is a, basically a, a variety of things you can get. You can get individual pens, which is what I did. I got the standard one uh, simply because after watching a few demos, I think that the standard will work the best for me and it didn't look like the fine or the uh, bold I would use very often. So I didn't want to get a kit. There is a kit that has all of the three pants in there. Now, if you want to make it a very luxurious present to someone, you can obviously give them all three. But if you think you know their style um, and they would use one of the pants more often than others, um, or would prefer them over the others then get just one pan that way you still get them a nice present um, but it won't be too expensive and they will certainly be using that one pan rather than one over the others um, so the standard comes in a mint color again works beautifully for me the bold is uh, like a dark blue I believe and then the fine is a pastel pink so what that tool does essentially is, again, it's connected to a USB um, cable and so you heat it up and then it has um, a little sort of nib attached to it and then you work of a specific type of a foil. It won't work with every foil, so you have to order the right type of foil. But in the, in the uh, kit, whichever you go for, the large one which has all three or the individual sizes, they all have a nice little roll of the gold uh, foil. And I believe the large kit might actually have even a couple more colors. Um, so yeah, you will be okay uh, to start off with you don't need to buy a separate foil uh, roll to to start your projects so that will be included and then what you do is you place the foil with the shiny pretty side up uh, over whatever projects you want to do on the paper or if you want to trace something uh, you just start drawing or writing and then that will transfer the heat will transfer the foil uh, onto the paper or whatever project you're doing. Apparently you can do it on leather, you can do it on different um, surfaces, so you have to try which ones work the best. And so that way you will have a nice gold element to your project. And um, what you can also do with it, and I think this is what I quite liked, um, you can take a stencil, and apparently it doesn't damage the stencil, although it's heat, but I have to try it first separately somewhere on the corner just to make sure I don't, I'm not going to damage my stencils. And then you can just, uh, you know, draw out the stenciling with that pen as well. And um, yeah, so you put the paper, you put the foil, then on top you put the stencil and then you start kind of drawing as if you would draw with a normal pen or something uh, inside the stenciling. And then ca that can create interesting looks as well. So that's what I got. I'm still waiting for it, so I can't show you. But I will link everything down below, including the full uh, large kit and the individual pants as well. Okay, 
next um, item I will recommend I also don't have to show you and actually I was going to order it myself but it was available on Amazon a while ago and then it disappeared again so I think it must have um, sold out or something it's the uh, I don't know the exact name for it because I can't find it now but it basically looks like a flower it's by we are memory keepers uh, it looks like a little flower rosette type of thing and then you turn on the knob uh, at the top and it kind of all rotates and opens up like spreads open and what you have is in every single petal uh, which are the largest at the bottom and they become smaller as they uh, layer to the top you have this beautiful little organizer for little embellishments so you can fit a ton of different things like sequins beads little pompons um, any type of other little like paper clippings enamel dots anything you can think of that's nice and cute and small you can fit in there and because you open it and you have it uh, all kind of exposed you can quickly find what you need um, in in that small space so once you turn it together all the petals move in and they close in into a smaller uh, compact kind of organizer which is just such a brilliant idea I really can't wait to get my hands on it but I just can't find it at the moment here in UK so I will link it down below as well for you um, so uh, another tool that is quite useful in the crafting um, department is a scoring board now this is great for a, a variety of things if you're making greeting cards or if you want to make little handmade um, booklets or zines or anything that you need to score it could be also other projects like some other paper craft projects so the one I have is by uh, Martha Stewart and I will it's a mini score uh, scoring board I will link this one but I also will link the one from we are memory keepers because that one has um, cutting and scoring in one and again it has the teal in there so if you're a big fan of teal like I am I think you might prefer it this one is quite basic so you might want to invest into something that has cutting as well as scoring so it, it has this uh, I think it's called like a bone folder it's a hard plastic tool which is much thinner it looks like a butter knife um, much thinner on one side and so you basically use it to score things um, so in this case I am going to show you something which actually goes sort of hand in hand and uh, this is a separate item which is also by We Are Memory Keepers. You'll notice there are loads of things by Memory Keepers and the reason is because I really like their designs and they're just super clever with what they come up with. Not only being super practical and something that you absolutely cannot live without, um, but also they make things look so pretty. Um, so this uh, is a book binding tool which was designed by Paige Evans for them and so it has rubber legs here and the plastic is great the, everything is just so nicely made and in this tool sorry I'm jumping from one thing to another but I just wanted to show you something um, so in this uh, kit you get this very sharp needle so be aware if you have kids make sure you keep it somewhere they can't reach as well as these uh, so these are two needles one is a straight and the other one is a bent one and it's got like this floss type of a, a yarn which you can bind books with so what you do essentially is you first um, use your scoring board to score a paper in the middle that you would want to bind into a little book and I'm just going to do it um, really quickly So once you use your scoring board, you're going to use the side of the bone folder and just really make a sharp uh, drag on the side of the pan. Now, this is something I really want to do uh, for this December because time is running out and I want to create a nice little book 
for um, like memory keeping. So basically that what you can do is you can layer these inlays like that then you can cut them out with a cutting tool to make sure that they're all straight or if you like it nice around the edges you can make it all look different but here is what um, how you do this next uh, step which is what we're going to do is remove this I just want to quickly show you how to bind, put it right to the top of it, make sure I'm right in the middle, Plus, press the uh, tool, screw it tightly in like so and now let's see, I think I would do, so you just purse it through like that. It depends how you want to bind it but you basically I think the usual binding is three but you can do all sorts of things so let's imagine I'm going to do it so I want to do it like that so with two in between so the next one would be this one this one so it just takes seconds to do it okay well this isn't a great demo because I haven't measured anything up but the idea is that look now you have this lovely oh I'd probably put another one here just to make it even lovely little uh, holes which means you can bind and you can bind by making signatures so you could individually bind them like that or you could um, bind them inside one another so there's different ways and then you can make little books um, which could be like memory keeping um, little albums or you can just use it as a diary or as your art journal so you can use your favorite watercolor paper or mix of papers do any sort of thing it makes it very very easy because it pierces it inside so you're not dam damaging anything you don't need a specific uh, cutting mat for it nothing goes through it's just so neat so this binding tool comes in a teal color as well uh, at the time when I was ordering this one was available so I got the pink one but if you want to keep everything within the same color I will try to link if I can uh, both of the colors for you as well so you can also um, do different styles of it there's a little booklet here which will show you uh, all different things you can do yeah, so it kind of gives you the Coptic stitch sewing method. There's some pretty complicated ones like these, which are for the individual signatures. Then there is some of those as well, the Japanese bound templates. And it shows you which holes to use 